TotalTravel.com recently asked a whole bunch of us Aussies whether or not we'd partake in a mid-air sex romp. And blow me down with an airline oxygen mask, almost half of us said hell yes, with 12% of us having already joined the Mile High Club. It's become so popular in fact that right here in Brisbane there is even an erotic airway. So Anthony, why did you decide to start Erotic Airways? Mile High Club has always been in the cubicle of an airliner, tight, cramped, smelly, not much room, so we decided why don't use a whole aeroplane. We take the uh, eight seats out, leave two in the front, or if there's a group, we leave more in, and we put the bed in behind it, and uh, we go from there. Now how popular is it? Uh, it's gotten very, very popular. It's most popular for anniversaries of all things and birthdays. What do people get other than pleasure by coming on Erotic Airways? Champagne, chocolates, flowers, the usual thing. They get a certificate at the end of the flight, so it's something they can take and show their friends, hang in the landroom wall, whatever they want to do with it. Now, I've noticed there's only a curtain between you and the passengers. Um, does that make it interesting? I forget they're there. Um, this aeroplane was designed as a bomber gunner trainer during World War II, and uh, it like I said, it normally has 10 seats. It's used to a lot more load than two people jumping around as much as they can. Well, I don't know if I'm proud to admit it, but I am a member of the Mile High Club. However, the experience was hideous. Toilet cubicle, too much plum wine, couple of sleeping pills, not a good combination. Tell me your Mile High Club experiences on the Emily Everywhere blog, and I'll see you next time.